Hello, my name is Anthony Perry, Product Specialist here at Flux Pumps USA, and today we're going to be going over the maintenance procedures for the F424 polypropylene. Uh, this is a 27-inch version. Uh, they're also available in 39, 47, 60-inch, um, but we're using this for demonstration purposes. So uh, we'll begin by breaking the pump down, removing the foot piece. It's reverse thread indicated by uh, this arrow here. We can screw that off. And then each pump that you receive has the flux clip that you can hang on the discharge and hang your hose from. It can also be used um, to hold the driver still as you uh, unscrew the impeller. So we'll do that now. And then thread the impeller off. Set that aside. And then uh, also reverse thread is the bearing housing. So we'll thread that off. Slides off the end of the pump shaft. And then the pump tube will unscrew from the T-piece. Also reverse thread. slide the tube off. And then here we have the T-piece, the inner tube, and this is the centering star, which just clips into this little uh, hole in the inner tube, so it holds itself in place. And then you can see there is a, a little uh, dimple there, which is the piece that goes into that. So now we can remove the T-piece. And then we just have our inner tube with the shaft. So you can tap the shaft on uh, a soft surface, whether it be wood or you just have uh, some cardboard. Give it a light tap, and that'll drive the pump shaft out of the inner tube. And at the top of the shaft is the coupling cage complete. Um, if you were to hold this in aluminum vice uh, or an aluminum jaw vice, you can screw this out uh, using the uh, clip, and this whole piece can be replaced as one uh, item. Then we have the O-ring at the top of the inner tube, and then the shaft seals, which are located inside the inner tube. Um, the union nut here, um, this can also be replaced uh, if you were to drop it and it were to break. Uh, simply remove this snap ring here, and then this will slide off. You can slide the new one on and replace your snap ring. And then um, that's all of the components that you would need to replace. So we'll put everything back together, starting by inserting the shaft back into the inner tube. And then just press down firmly to seat the bearings down inside. Reinstall the T-piece and then put the centering star back over the shaft. You can see the slot here, just kind of pull that apart and that will allow you to get it on and clip into place. Then the outer tube slides over. tube into the T-piece, get it good and tight, and then the bearing housing, you can see it holds the shaft in the center of the tube to prevent any deflection uh, once the pump is up to speed. Slide the shaft through there, and then screw that back into the pump tube. And then before we reinstall the foot piece and impeller, um, this is the Z version for high head applications. And then um, we also have a standard impeller. You can see the difference here. This is the Z style, this is the standard. And then the foot pieces are also different. You can see the Z style foot piece and the standard foot piece here. 
So to reinstall the impeller, we'll hold the coupling cage still, and that will allow us to screw the impeller on without the shaft rotating. Once the impeller's on, just screw the foot piece on. And that's a full rebuild of the F424 polypropylene. Um, you can also feel free to contact us and send your pumps in here. We have a full service department and uh, we can take care of any repairs that you might need. Thank you.